10 years ago, I didn't know what Friedrich Zetaxia was. Nine years ago, I was diagnosed. Seven years ago, I had full spinal fusion surgery. Five years ago, I started walking with the cane. It shattered all your hopes and dreams for the future. Um, it broke my family, it really did. It's very emotionally draining to think about what FA is going to do. And I think it'd be pretty cool if no, no one had to think about that. I really love his, uh, his mind. He's so creative. Liam is this perfect wordsmith and a beautiful poet. Uh, writing is therapeutic. Um, I can be honest. Um, and, and yeah, to talk about these things that I probably wouldn't talk about to most, most people. We didn't talk about Ataxia for our first like month we were dating. Um, we just kind of like pretended it didn't exist. <laughs> but then once it came up, we had this very like good rapport and I think it opened up a lot of doors and made it easier for us to move forward in our relationship because we could be really honest with each other. Uh, I don't know, I mean, it's kind of a truism, but just taking it like one day at a time is a really neat thing. It's nice to just be able to be like, well today, what am I able to do? Kids are really important to both of us, so I think that's going to be a big priority. You can't pretend that FA is not progressive and that you're going to be able to do the same amount of things with your kids today as you would be able to do five years down the line. I, I try to fill my life with meaning and maybe that means, you know, going to CHOP and, and doing these uh, uh, drug trials and being a, a good participant, but it also means, you know, just being a good human being. Come on, Casey, come on, come on, come on. Keep going, keep going. That's it, that's it, keep going, keep going. I come and do the bike rides and, you know, see Dr. Lynch and um, do whatever's needed for the clinical trial. Now, if you take this finger and go from your nose to my finger three times. A lot of families, they kind of break some of their family away from it because they don't fully understand it, and that's kind of what happened with my family. I don't have a whole lot of family around. Um, they don't fully understand it, and they don't care to want to know about it. Before I die, I want to leave my mark on this world. I guess now it's kind of a new perspective. It's not the end of life, but it opening of a new door kind of thing. So that's how I look at it. And FA has opened so many more doors to so many people that if I went to FA, I couldn't leave the impact I do now. I, I try and approach every day like a baseball game. Because baseball is so, such a mental game, and to me, FA is such a, men is a mental game as well. When I was really young, I wanted to be a professional um, athlete, and then when, when I got diagnosed with FA, I kind of realized that wasn't going to happen. High school is a tough time for anyone, regardless of extra things that you're going through, but when you add the FA in the mix, it just makes it that, that much tougher. I was thinking about driving and how in 10 years, my, my friends are gonna be able to get in and out of the car the same way they're getting in and out of the car now. It just kind of hit me that I wasn't able, gonna be able to do that. Definitely for my family, I think it was harder on them than it is on me. Having my parents and my brother watching um, things just go downhill very steeply. It's not a slow thing, it's very fast. Um, I think that's hard for them to watch because they can't do anything about it. I'm getting an MBA 
and a master's in sport and entertainment management. Uh, it's a two-year program. I'm currently an intern at the Tampa Bay Lightning in community relations. Instagram. The spin I put on it is um, to keep moving forward every single minute, but every single day. She works to save mankind, but can she save herself? She's 11 years old. Um, she's, um, you know, outspoken, um, determined. And if she really wants to go from A to B and there's an obstacle in her way, she'll find a way to go around that obstacle and get there even if she stopped. Yeah, I'm part of a trial and I have to get this done to me. They put a needle in my arm. They've replaced it with a straw. For the first six months, you could be on placebo. And on the last six months, you're guaranteed medication. So they want to see if it makes a difference. We lose feelings in our legs and arms. The only reason I know you lose feeling in your legs is because my sister loses feelings in her legs already, but I don't. We, uh, we were uh, counseled to not test because she hadn't shown any symptoms yet, but we wanted to know. And so we waited a couple months and then we went ahead and had her tested and, uh, and she came up positive as well. I think the thing I'm most proud of is how they continue to do the things that they want to do and how they continue to live as, as if they don't have F.A. There will be big, bigger things that I want to do in the future. Um, but I don't know. I just, I just wanna, kind of, I just wanna keep living my life. You um, wanna look to all the hope you can get and chase it, and so anywhere and everywhere where there might be that light of hope, hey go. He's just so passionate about being a cog in that wheel to find a cure and he's I think he's gonna do it <laughs> you know I think he's gonna be part of that history just like everyone else that's involved with Farah they're gonna be part of history when a cure is found. A taxi A is a moving target and the progression always happens too fast and I end up covering up the things I have not come to terms with. We all hurt it's my firm belief that we all have these things about us. Inadequacies, disappointments, failures, unavoidable problems that cause us so much pain. But we can choose how to feel it. I feel someone's gonna find something and one day they're gonna be like, I found the cure. Here you go, everyone. It will be like that.